Well, good morning. Guess what day it is? It's cruise day. It is time for us to embark for the first time ever from Canada. Canada. Unfortunately, we have to go through U.S. immigration right away, so that'll slow us down this morning. So we have to get to the port. We're going early. Yeah, we were sent an email from Holland America saying that uh, the customs is a long line and to be prepared and to try to get there as early as possible, basically. And for those new to the channel, we are going on our first ever Alaska cruise on Holland America's Conningsdam. We are. Leaving Vancouver. We will be doing seven days yes. and then coming back to Vancouver. So we will hit Juneau, Skagway, Glacier Bay, and Ketchikan along the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we are very interested. We've heard so much about Alaska cruises and we're going to check it out for ourselves this time. Yeah, we're excited. So yeah, we have to get packed up here from the hotel. We're going to grab an Uber. We're going to head to Canada Place. Mm -hmm. And I haven't checked the maps or any images yet. I'm not sure if our ship's here, but hopefully it is. We haven't heard anything otherwise. <laughs> it better be. Yeah, we should double check that. And we're going to see if we can get on the ship in time for lunch. Yeah, fingers crossed that it, it goes relatively smoothly for us. I don't know what we're in store for. We've heard some horror stories from other people that have done it this season. So hopefully it's a good day today. Yeah. So let's go. And we're going to start this Alaskan cruise. All right. Honey, you want to tell everybody what you just said? Oh, I just realized I forgot one of the wires underneath the desk here is one of my better wires too. Better wires? I've heard of better wine, but never better wires. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped off, we're good to go. I can't even keep up with her today. She's running to get on the cruise ship. Running to get into a line. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep thinking we're getting the right direction. Cruise check-in. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Okay, the lineups begin. Here we go. You see your cabin? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funny. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Do you think we could see our inside cabin from out here? Yeah, I don't think we're going to see our cabin from out here. No. Yeah. Port of Vancouver, Conning's Dam. We're going inside towards security, so I'm not sure how much more of this I can show you. It's, so far, it's gone really fast. 10.45. 10.45, we arrived at the port at 9.45. Yeah. So I don't know if we're actually getting on a ship or we're just getting to a new waiting room. It looks like we're into a new waiting room. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully we go right on, but no. we're gonna find out. There's the next spot we're gonna wait. 11.30 and we are about to board. Sorry, the line just stopped quickly. <laughs> Conning's Dam is right outside the window. We can see it. And we are about to get on this beautiful ship. On the gangway. On the gangway, here we go. I said in our last vlog series getting off Morello, the gangways can be so happy and so sad. <laughs> sad when you're leaving, but today is one of those days when we are happy. Happy today. <laughs> there it is. You're that close. Almost. Oh, here we go. First steps on the Connie Dam, fifth All in America cruise begins now. Okay, we are here. We have an agenda. Oh, we're at your favorite place ever. Let's go get a donut right off the bat. <laughs> but we do want to get to guest services because we're trying to book something. We're on a hurry. This looks a lot like the new Staten Dom and Rotterdam though. What would you rather, stand in line or have a donut? <laughs> I know where I'm going. <laughs> Evil laugh. Dutch Cafe is calling my name. Maybe a big cookie. What do you see? This is the first cookie from the Dutch Cafe of anybody on the ship. It was all mine. Oh, what did you find, Mr. Knuck? This is the first cookie. <laughs> Don't eat the first cookie ever on the ship today. <laughs> hey. The first one? <laughs> no one else had a cookie yet. <laughs> We are on the move. We are doing some housekeeping, as Mr. Knuck wants to say. The update is that we tried to book a cabana for a single day. You can only do that on the ship. So we went to guest services because that's what we've heard the pro protocol has been in the past. But the protocol appears to have changed. So 
you're booking a single cabana, we were told that you have to go up to the actual cabana and deal with the cabana stewards. So we're trying to get up there to see if we can get a cabana for, we'll see, maybe Glacier Bay, but we'll see what days are available. Here we go. We are at Canada Place, downtown Vancouver. And there's some weird green statue right here. That's, uh, that's on 19, correct? 19, yeah, that's correct. Off we go again. We are having success. We were able to not only book a cabana, but pick whichever one we wanted. And Crow's Nest is that way, but we're not going that way. We're going to see if we can drop some stuff off in our cabin. Cabins aren't open, but usually we can drop stuff and run. Check this artwork out. We've got a big sailing ship with the hull as a big, was it cello? I think that's what that is. It is Saturday. First elevator footage already. Mm. You're happy yet? I'm very happy. Very happy. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be a great cruise. We are just listening to the announcements that the state rooms are ready, so we are not going to our room early. We are just perfectly on time. So, that's pretty good because I don't think it's even 12 o'clock yet. What time do you have? If your stateroom number is 11.51. 1151 and we are already allowed in our stateroom so next thing is we have to find it <laughs> found it and guys it's not like last time we were on haul in america we actually knew what our room cover uh number was this time so we were able to find it and can we go oh there's balloons in our room guys there's a balloon there's a celebration going on in here uh, oh i gotta put a card in that's why <laughs> just learning thing. how to turn the lights on already and oh, here we are. we've got uh we got we've some. got a few things here going on here oh. we are checking out what's going on i see an umbrella that was one of our questions already answered so we're going to see how our cabin looks but as you can tell it is an inside cabin and but it's an inside cabin that we've had before on the rotterdam this style it has the couch which we really really like so that's why we chose this one and it still has a full size glass shower. We received a gift from a follower. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I'll read the message. It says a Bon Voyage package compliments of Annette Connor. Thank oh, wow. you, Annette. That is beautiful. How lovely. Hmm. And her note says Jill and Jerry have a great time on my favorite ship. The library is open. Good, because that's my next stop. Thank you so much. A bottle of Prosecco. Oh, we love it. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Annette. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we are off to find some lunch. And they tracked everybody to the Lido deck, but I think we've got our secret spot that's always not as busy and a little quieter. So we're gonna give that a try. Uh, we were looking at when we can do muster, and it looks like it's not available till 1.45. So that gives us an hour and a bit to have some lunch and uh, explore the ship. Here we are, we are at the dining room. Uh -huh. Must admit, there's nothing like this class of ship's dining room. Here we are. I see some calamari. Wondering who's having some of that. I wonder. How well do you all know me? I think we, we figured this one out by now, right? You're already looking at the wine list and thinking of calamari. <laughs> <laughs> Your miss is predictable. <laughs> Good thing I'm around to keep it different. Start of another cruise. Number 38, Cottingsdale. Cheers. Mmm, nice. And lunch has arrived, so. My calamari is here. Calamari is there. And the Mexican street tacos, chicken style. It's the first food I, well, second food. I did have a cookie already. <laughs> you did, that's right. Okay, lunch has arrived. I am having half a club sandwich with a couple potato chips. It comes with a tomato bisque. And over here. I am having the fresh catch of the day, which is cod today with some vegetables. Looks very good. Yeah. There it is, I can report that there is Crown Royal on the ship, and that is Crown and Diet, but not Diet Pepsi, it's Diet Sprite, I think they said, so. So, my dessert has arrived. It is the Cherry Cheesecake, New York Cheesecake, I believe. 
and I'm the only one having dessert because Mrs. Kanaku saw it. I have video proof. She took a big, huge bite out of my cookie, and so now I've got to have this <laughs> since I didn't get all of my cookie. <laughs> Look at luggage is coming. Luggage is showing Everybody up over there. Luggage. And here behind this wall is the orange oh. club dining room. They still have blends here, so they haven't put the half moon bar in here yet. Mm. Maybe one day, but probably not while we're on the ship. We're wandering the ship. This is one of my favorite times of cruising is doing this type of thing. This is where all the dancing is going to happen. This is where you're going to see Mrs. Canuck doing a lot of this. So. Right over here though in BB King's Lounge, there are staff set up with little booths to help people with tech, with the navigational app. So that's awesome. I really appreciate that they're doing that. It's the brand new feature in the Hauntings Dam. It is this thing. Look guys. The library. It's, here. it's open, it's official. There's oh. Shh, library. Romance. Why are you looking in the romance section? <laughs> <laughs> These are questions I want answered. <laughs> Check this book out. There's a reason that book will never leave the shelf. <laughs> this is insane how many books are in this library. Isn't it marvelous? I love it. Like, look at it. Like, how multiple copies of a lot of these books. Huh. Look at there. There's one about a boat. Narrow Boat Summer. Have you read that one? I have not. You haven't read Narrow Boat Summer? What is going on, Mr. Canuck? Explain I am so, I'm so ashamed. Oh, you're so ashamed. How come? I found two books I actually want to read in this library. Maybe two these libraries books? are a good thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Libraries a good thing? Yeah, it might be. Hmm. Uh -huh. And there's a book drop, so it looks like I'm going to have to actually use that this cruise. Look what's well, here. we <laughs> were about to go explore the ship and I opened up the door and look what we found in the hallway. It is officially 125 and all of our luggage has arrived already. Way to go, all in America. That's quick. We have mustard. We have. We checked it. Yep. Took only a brief minute. Now we are off to find the spot. They're doing free tours, so we're gonna check it out because we had the spa package this week. Mm -hmm. We need to learn Show something. You all about it, guys. See what we can do up there and get into trouble this week. Ah, it's gonna be great. Ooh. First views of the pool. Okay, we are at the spa, and we're getting a tour of what there is to offer for the spa package. I'll give the tour. This is the philosophy pool. This is the first thing. We've got little loungers around here. And it's located really close to the pool that's right through these windows here. On we go. Okay. With the ocean, maybe you can come and take a look inside. Today is a little bit heating, but it's good. We can go. Oh, wow. It's big yeah. in there. Yeah. And also, we have the shower on this side. Oh, this okay. area and is this nice. And cool. And also, yeah. we have another steam room and we have the sauna a view from a here in the spa pool, oh like to there's a float plane mm -hmm. get ready to take off upgrade. here it goes we have lift off there you go would you try this i don't know lay down shower. this is a lay down shower okay your head goes at the top there and it goes down if i motivate you to do a spin class they've got it set up all the promotional stuff lined up for you there you go Good. Okay, we always have comments about kids in this back aft pool on Holland America. And there's the rules. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. There's fourteen of the 14 children. Fourteen kids. And, and zero, not a lot of supervision. And zero adults in it. <laughs> so there you go. It's not an adults only pool. Here we go. First impressions, Conning Dam. Oh, I love this. I love the style of the Conning Dam ship, and you know it's, it's uh, very similar to New Dam and, and Rotterdam. Nearly uh, identical. They are nearly identical, but I think there might be a few differences. We're going to keep exploring, but yeah. so far we're quite happy. No hot tub in the cabana area. Right. That's a difference. Yeah, for sure. The yeah. library is open and functional, just like you would see on the Rotterdam. There's um, the blends bar is going on instead of the. Uh, the Half Moon Bar that's Half on the Rotterdam. Bar. Thank you. I was trying to get that name. So we're going to keep exploring. Yeah. And how was your lunch, by the way? My lunch was delicious. The fish was cooked to perfection. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah your fish was really good. I think you won with lunch today. Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, my sandwich was a little sparse, but uh, there's lots of food. So yeah. I'm not going to go hungry today. No, for sure. Onward and upwards. Under construction at the after the Conning's Dam. We have some picnic tables. They're, the roof is on the other side. This one they're still building. And it's just aft of the pool. So, yeah, this is a brand new feature that's not even open yet. Holland America. And 
a little bit of the Vancouver area. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right. Make up for what I lost. I was down, but things are looking up. I wanna get high on you, caught by surprise by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should. I wanna get high. Okay, I think we have found uh, a bar that's not crazy busy. No, because it's closed. Closed, another closed bar. Can't get a drink anywhere around here. Unless you want to stand in a very long line at the pool. Actually, we have a little Canada bake for you guys. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> so what's in the bag, Paulie Morgan? It's in the bag, Angelo. No, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, I've got sparkly. <laughs> She's got sparkly ones for Carol. Oh, oh a fab. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> That's for all the Paul's makeup. Yeah. That's going to be big enough, though. <laughs> There you go, look at this. You can use it. You can hide your first duck. That's massive, how are you going to hold it I'm just saying, whatever's in this bag that Paul and Carol just gave me is all for me, not for Mr. Canuck at all. Mm hmm. Ooh. First one's mine. Mine. Oh. Two for two for me. Definitely mine. Those will be gone by tomorrow morning. Good afternoon, everyone. This is our Oh, oh dairy milk buttons. Have you ever tried those? Nope. Look at and more wine gummies. More wine gummies. Red and black. So far, there's nothing for you. It's all for me. <laughs> British chocolate. British chocolate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that better what than what you get in Canada? Cool. This is way better than Canada. Mm -hmm. mm. I can eat Joel's too. <laughs> <laughs> She's got it to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill me too. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Canuck has ordered her first glacier blue. Deck six, Mosa deck. Does that look like glacier blue? <laughs> Not sure what I got, guys. All I can taste is pineapple juice, whatever this is. The big swing and a miss on the first glacier blue. <laughs> yeah. It's not even blue. The ice is nice in it. It's got a glacier rock. That's nice, but it's definitely not a glacier blue martini like I'm used to having on now. Huh. I'm not quite sure what it is. After we forgot about the Barilla Cruise, the door magnet is back. Except it doesn't stick to the door because the door is not magnetic. So, how do you like my shirt? <laughs> Fancy. There's a backstory here. Mm -hmm. Paul had said mm -hmm. that since he's in a suite, that uh, I need to wear a tux so I can come in to see a suite because they're pretty fancy up there in those suites. Oh yeah, so we were just invited to go to do a sail away on their deck at their suite. So Mr. Kunuk put his tux on, he's ready to go. Ready for the sweet life. <laughs> and Jill never did eat her chocolate that she got. No, somebody ate it on me while I was trying to get him a drink. <laughs> British chocolate should not be left out in the open. Wow, look at that, making ourselves at home. Look at this sweet life. Come on in. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> now, Paul said I had to wear a tux when I come to his cabin.
We are done with Paul and Carol and all that scenery. Now there's some food calling our name somewhere. Here we are. Well, Mrs. Canuck has made her wardrobe recommendations. <laughs> uh, yeah. And something else we found in our cabin. Yeah, we just came back and um, yeah, Holland America gifted us a little little treat here. Treats. With some fancy bubblies. So that was very nice of them. Thank you, Holland America. There it is, yeah. right there. So we're gonna get ready for dinner and start this nightlife on Holland America Conningsdam. It is time for dinner. It is. We're changed, we're running late because we're doing a little bit of sail away with Paul and Carol. And we sailed right away from our dinner time. And we did. It was supposed to be at 5 p.m. It is almost six now. We just discovered this 50 minutes late. We thought we had a 6 p.m. dining and that was my mistake. I. I read it wrong. So we I can't talk start. any longer because we're running out of time to go have dinner. Yeah, so we're, we're going to go, go see, see if they can see if they can fix it for us. So, yeah. so we're not going to talk anymore. We're just going to hopefully show you us having dinner. Hopefully. Tonight's dress. Oh no. Is looks like about a 85% back. 85% back. That's missing. Oh. So 15% back. Oh, I see. And looks like some kind of blackish shoes and a black purse and the color is pink oh you got it all right there you go Perfect I picked tonight. colors that you knew oh I forgot to comment on the length looks like about oh about one third length mm. off we go hopefully they'll let us eat dinner otherwise I have to eat donuts the rest of the night oh, the dining room mm. beautiful in here Beautiful dining room. Despite our missing our dinner time, they managed to squeeze us in. Yeah, everybody was Look, really helpful. We got bread on the table, all Look to ourselves. <laughs> we don't have to ask for bread. Well, since we are on an Alaskan cruise, I broke down and tried something at least that was on the Alaskan menu. So this was the Alaskan salmon chowder, I believe is what. Yeah, so I'm gonna give that a try. I don't usually eat seafood stuff, so wish me luck. But Mrs. Seafood here. So I went with the Alaskan, off of the Alaskan part menu, which is a breaded cod slider as my starter. Appetizer number two has arrived. I'm having some greens. Mm. A little bit of some orange in there, some pecans, some cherry tomatoes. It looks looks like a balsamic vinegar, I believe. Mm -hmm. And over here. And I am having the seafood salad. I held the sauce because I'm not a fan of the sauce, but I have some crab, some shrimp, all kinds of fun little uh, pieces of seafood from Alaska in here. Dinner has arrived and I am having a curried vegetable cutling. This is what it looks like, 360 degrees. And over here. Thank you. Thank you. I am having the grilled rockfish from Alaska. Okay, dessert has arrived, and I am too full for dessert, but I'm going to do what I can here to get through this banana crisp with a vanilla ice cream on top. And what do you have? I'm having the strawberry Romanoff. We are done with dinner. Hey, and this type of cruise, it's not just endless ocean. There's stuff to see when you're finished dinner, so we're going to check this out. Here we go. It almost looks like it looks when we're out with our boat cruising around. Well, the hills are a little bit bigger there. Well, it definitely is bizarre scenery from a cruise ship. We see this type of stuff cruising around in our boat, Northern Ontario, but for a monstrous ship like this to be cruising in this area this tight, it's pretty interesting, that's for sure. Well, you finally found what you're looking for? I found it, guys. Yes. I was able to find a glacier blue like I know it to be. There we go. Let's give it a try. Well, something I've never noticed before in these theaters. I don't know if it's just to the ship, but look yeah. at all these little drink holders here in the side. I don't in the back of people's chairs. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it fits in and out there. So, I yeah, think that's unique weird. to this ship. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Like, are you to put your drink behind you? <laughs> or are you to use so. the chair in front of you? Good evening, everyone. My name is Betty Ann. I'm your cruise and travel director, and this is the first of six EXC or Exploration Central talks this voyage. Now, we are so excited to take you on this adventure up north. So one day, Chuck West decided to offer a tour. Fairbanks to the Arctic and back. 
secret letter was buried somewhere in the middle of that day or maybe in the middle beginning the end maybe it hasn't happened yet <laughs> if you saw it then you know whether we're lying or not mm -hmm. so seven letters one of them was revealed today so see if you can find them all over the next few days as we head to Alaska and back yeah so didn't do a lot of talking to the camera tonight because we were listening to music all over the ship we were so yeah but uh yeah success successfully made it through our dinner after we almost missed it yes i have to say the staff in the dining room were phenomenal they were able to uh change our dining time to anytime dining so that we can come whenever it's convenient for us and it was no problem whatsoever so thank you for that that was obviously my mistake and they resolved the issue without any issue at all and we had a wonderful meal. I'm really enjoying the Alaskan menu that's on this this voyage with all the fresh seafood. I had seafood as an appetizer. I had seafood for my main course, and it was all delicious. Mm-hmm. I had Alaskan curry. Who knew? Alaskan curry. Yeah, really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yep. And then we went to the main stage show after dinner. Well, we did a little outdoor um, out on the deck, which was quite nice. But then from there we went to the main theater to see um, Alaska, a an exact talk on Alaska, which was very interesting. And then the music walk started for us. So we got to do a little bit of B.B. King, a little bit of the rock. The Rolling Stone Rock Room, Dueling Pianos, yeah. or Billboard on Board, I guess they call it. Right, we did them yeah. all. And a little bit of everything, so yeah. Yep, and highlight was certainly at least the odd thing that caught my attention most of all today was the scenery as we were going by. Mm. Felt like we were like really close to shore at times, which is kind of unusual. Usually, leaving port, you're heading out into the ocean, and yeah. uh, and this cruise is a little bit different as we head up the inside passage for, I guess, tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to see all the lovely scenery tomorrow. So tomorrow's a sea day, but inside past, so a scenery day. Yeah. And we have something special. We've been invited to something we've never been able to do or show before. So we mm -hmm. will be showing you something tomorrow. So stay yeah. tuned for that. Yeah, we're excited about that. But for now, we're going to get to sleep and uh, wake up tomorrow and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get in tomorrow. Yeah, for our first sea day mm -hmm. tomorrow. So we, so we get closer to Alaska. Nice. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.